everyone. I'm Heather Crawford and I want to take a moment to show you some of the incredible images and videos that you all have been sending us today through the near me feature on our First Coast News app and also posting on our Weather Watchers Facebook page. And I want to start in Saint Augustine. Uh, Bernadette Baker shared this video with us. Uh, some guys out here, they look to be in their swim trunks. Some Saint Augustine locals, she says, as the water comes crashing over earlier today. Now this is near downtown. I do want to say officials reminding everyone one stay out of the water, just not safe to be there. Uh, the water could be contaminated. You can't see down power lines, so please, please be careful out there. I also want to show you some video we got of the flooding in Riverside. This was earlier today at the Rivera Apartments off of St. John's Avenue. Gail Allen sending us this video. Look at how close the water is. It's actually uh, coming into some of the homes there. She told us at about 330 when the water was rising, she was helping a neighbor who was downstairs whose home was flooding. So that's what it looks like uh, about an hour, hour and a half ago in the Riverside area of Jacksonville. And then I want to show you this comparison picture. Oh, nope, actually that is Roscoe Road. That's um, in the Palm Valley area of Ponte Vedra. You can see earlier today just how high the water uh, was right there in St. John's County. We know that some of the roads in St. John's County impassable as a result of Tropical Storm Nicole. And now I want to show you if we have a picture uh, a friend sent to me uh, showing the difference in flooding in downtown St. Mary's, Georgia compared to what it looked like during Hurricane Ian. Uh, we don't have that picture, but I'll tell you that right now he tells me the water was about a foot higher in downtown St. Mary's this storm compared to Ian. Now what this is, this is from Deb Bickle. She sent us this picture from the Trout River on the north side. Uh, you can see just how high the water level got right there. And Julie McMillan showing us the St. John's River from Fleming Island. You see all that wood, all that trash, that debris. Uh, we're told that that is actually from a dock that was destroyed a couple years ago during Irma. So you can see now all washed ashore today as a result of Tropical Storm Nicole. And we have another video. Uh, this is a disappearing dock right here. Jason Davis, thank you for sharing this with us. He posted this on our Weather Watchers Facebook page from River Road Walking Trail. This is in Orange Park, but you saw uh, today earlier as the, as the tides were right coming in high, around high tide, that dock starting to disappear. The water is now starting to recede. And I got to show you one more video. Um, look at this. Our neighbors at Intuition Ale Works right here in downtown Jacksonville uh, posting this. This is a guy on a raft that's made out of beer kegs. Yes, beer kegs. Florida man, right here. <laughs> this is on Flooded Gatorville Boulevard in downtown Jacksonville. Uh, there you go. I don't know what else to say about that picture, but there you go. And if you would like to share your photos with us, I want to give you a quick tutorial on how to use the Near Me feature. You go to the First Coast News app. You see the big arrow right there, the bottom right hand of your screen. Click on that, click on the words near me, then you will be able to share it with us and you can put your video or pictures in. First step, you got to download the First Coast News app. If you don't have it, it's easy to use, fun to share your pictures. We'd love to show your pictures and video on TV. So download the First Coast News app and stay with our weather team who's here for you around the clock. Heather Crawford, First Coast News on your side. Thanks.